temperatures that low? I mean, I mean we're surviving here on the Central Coast because it's been pretty cold. We're surviving. Yeah. Oh, it's so cold. 60 degrees. <laughs> you should have seen me in my party yesterday. got into the 30s, Neil, over the last couple days. Definitely not cold compared to the rest of the country, but cold for us here on the Central Coast. We are so lucky. We've got perfect conditions most of the year, so even those 30s feel pretty cold here on the Central Coast. Now, checking out the current conditions on our drought monitor. Not seeing too many big updates this week. Continuing to see pretty bad conditions across the entirety of the state. Basically, we need rain. We know we need rain here on the Central Coast, especially over the next couple days as we start to gear up for a possible rainstorm. The good news is there is one in the forecast, but we really need as much rain as possible from that system. Now, we do have that severe drought along all of our coastlines still, still being helped just a little bit by that marine layer, helping keep just some of those impacts a little bit more mild. That extreme drought in the coastal valleys into the interior valleys, and we're just on the edge of this exceptional drought as well. So we need rain. Check out these reservoir capacities at this point. Still seeing those downturning still week after week. 17.4% of the reservoir filled at Lake Nascimento, Lake Salinas at 50.3%. That's down 0.3% just from last week in Lake Gibraltar at 20% filled exactly, and that's down 0.3% just from last week. Now, the good news is we do have rain chances in the forecast. So the first one is going to be a while from now. we got to get all the way through the weekend and through Halloween when we'll see a little bit more cloud cover before this system makes its way here. And it's going to be very widespread with some scattered storms. So if we do see those here on the Central Coast, that'll be really good news. That's mainly going to be Wednesday into Thursday. Our best rain chances are Wednesday in the afternoon hours, at least at this point. Still a ways out, so still a lot of things could change with this system. Then clearing out for Thursday and Friday. But then as we head into next weekend, as well after this weekend we're going to be seeing a big cold front pushing through the region that could bring us yet another section of rain so good news there and we'll have more details on that on ksby.com now checking out those conditions for today 74 degrees in paso robo 66 in both san luis Obispo and lompoc 65 in santa maria and 71 degrees in santa barbara for today along our north coast morro bay at 58 76 in san miguel 67 in avila beach in the five cities region of pomo at 64 73 in shannon and 62 degrees in arroyo grande along our south coast similar clear conditions for today. Goleta at 70, 71 in the Koyama Valley and 65 degrees in Orchid. Over the next couple of days, we're going to be seeing similar conditions getting towards 80 by Sunday. Then we do have that chance for rain on Wednesday of next week. Really good chances. Hopefully we'll see some significant rain from that system. Neil and Janelle, back to you. All right, thanks, Vivian. The time right now is 639. Coming up next on Daybreak. Well, she's pretty as a